Good morning, Quadcopter 101, and what I got for you today is a review of a neat new camera quadcopter. This is the Bojang S5C-2. Now, if you look at the S5C-2, it is a not a copy of other quadcopters for once. <laughs> this one seems to be uh, unique in its design, which is good. Design and shape. I like that. You know, um, I've been seeing too many uh, X5C clones. This one is not. Um, the camera also is not a uh, clone, although it is slightly pointed downward, it is not pointed as downward as the uh, those that you see on the X5C. Um, the camera is a 2 megapixel 720p camera, which is good. And what's really surprising about this quadcopter is the price. I believe the price with shipping currently is about $40, which is kind of a steal if this is a, if this actually works well. So we're going to find that out here shortly. Uh, looking over the quadcopter, it has lots of lights on it. Um, it even has a little headlight on the front of it. Um, very unique shape. It uses X5C batteries, by the way, so there's no problem with the batteries there. Um, the range is predicted to be 100 meters, which is greater than the X5C. Uh, other things on it, um, it has one key return in headless mode, which you activate by pressing this button here. And it does flips by activating this button here. You can start the camera and take a photo by pressing this button here. You can turn off the lights on the quadcopter to save power by pressing this button here. You start and stop the video by pressing this button here. And you select the different rates by pressing this button here. So, And all of them are very well labeled with the exception of the one key return, headless mode, and the flip button. They're, they're not labeled. I wish they were. So other than that, it does have an on-off switch also. So let's go into a flight. Turning on the quadcopter and pointing it off in the direction of Owens Peak, off in the distance here at the sports complex in Ridgecrest. Turning on the transmitter, binding to the quadcopter, and I'm turning off the lights to save power. And turning on the video camera, and making sure the video camera is recording. Yes, it is. Turning off the video camera, making sure the video camera stops, because I want to do one thing before we do that. What happens if we lose, trans lose transmission? Turning off the transmitter, 1001, 1002, so it shuts down. Good. Finally, companies are starting to realize that we don't want flyaways. Turning on that video camera one more time. Okay, I'm going to turn off the quadcopter and turn it back on again um, because I'm not seeing the video camera light, light up this time. Quadcopter is on, turning on the transmitter, binding it to the quadcopter, turning off the lights, turning on the video camera, making sure the video camera is recording. We have a red light, so it is recording. And away we go. And let's go to a higher rate. Is there a third rate? Yes, there is, because we need it today. <laughs> we got a wind. Going upwind here. Let's fly up by the lights. Not that I hit the lights. And I'm going way upwind. Oh, I don't want to hit those lights. I better move over here. <laughs> but yeah, we got 100 meters range at least. Hovering it. That's the wind blowing it back, folks. There seems to be less wind up there than down here. So yeah, not bad for $40. And that's with shipping. And bringing it back down because I want to demonstrate its flight abilities next. Going up wind. Put it in a hover upwind here. And I'll have to blow back here. Turn the quadcopter. Good quadcopter. Um, but it seems a little bit sluggish though, you know, because of the weight of that camera. You can feel that feel it. But let's land it. And Turn off the video, make sure the video stops.
Come on. Oh, I'm pressing the wrong button. That's the photo button. Okay, and the video has stopped. Okay, now let's test out the distance of this the quad cup, or let's test out one key return in the headless mode. I haven't done that. Going back up again. I'm going down the field. And we'll go down, well down the field, and press one key return. No, that's headless mode. That's headless mode, I could tell by that beeping. Let's go back up again, and let's hold down the button for two seconds. There you go, you gotta hold the button down for two seconds to bring it into one key return. And it's tilting, and I think the one, the one key return direction is the opposite direction where I had it pointed. Let's bring it down and reset the one key return. Or the headless mode direction. Um, I am going to turn the quadcopter off and turn the quadcopter on again because I think I had the quadcopter pointed in a di different direction than I went wanted it to be for uh, one key return in headless mode. So there we go. Let's make sure. Higher rate. Yeah, that's the headless mode direction there. The intended one. <laughs> Let's go down the field. And holding the button down for two seconds. And that brings it back. Now the one key return doesn't seem to have much pitch to it, folks. So it doesn't work very well, the one key return. The headless mode's working well, but it has the beep. As you can hear, and you can see that the headless mode's working. Let's turn off headless mode. That's enough of that. Now let's demonstrate the range of this quadcopter. Also, higher rate. And I'm going to stand down here by this net and see if we can fly all the way down to the other net to make 100 meters range. Yeah, we are going down there. Going down there. Almost there. Still got control. Still got control. Still got control. Still. Ah, and we got it. 100 meters range. So 100 meters range is accurate on this quadcopter. Let's go down and get it. Okay, we're down here at the other end of the field. Demonstrated, yes indeed, it does have 100 meters range. Let's see if I can rebind it right, right now. Yes, I can. Let's see if I can also calibrate its gyros in any means, but no, it doesn't seem to do that. Going up to high, expert rate, for the remainder of the flight. No more power for flipping. I just tried to flip. <laughs> so, power's getting low now. And, again, it seems a little bit heavy with that camera. But then, I, um, I'm about 70% throttle right now. And the battery's starting to get weak, too. So it's not a maneuverable quadcopter. Don't get this for doing funnels. Well, it can do funnels. There's the funnels. But uh, don't expect much in terms of uh, maneuverability of this quadcopter because of the weight of the camera. Going upwind again. We do have a, about a four or five knot wind here, as you can see there. And there goes the, the uh, quadcopter. Hold on. Okay, I didn't fully screw in its landing gear there, so its landing skids came off here. <laughs> I did that because uh, to ease assembly and disassembly of this. That's about the only thing you need to do to assemble this quadcopter is put on landing or screw in the landing gear skids, but I didn't do that. But yeah, it's starting to get a little sluggish now. So again, you know, this is a cheap camera quadcopter. I don't know how well the camera works. We will find out here shortly. I think the lights are blinking right now. I can see that. So we're getting low on bat. 
see how long we can fly before we lose control. We have the low battery signal. Does it give us significant warning? We'll find out. And you can also tell because it starts to get sluggish. And we're about gone with the battery. It gets real sluggish as the battery wears down. It's still flying though. But I'm gonna land it. I'm gonna land it. I don't wanna hurt that battery. <laughs> you don't wanna you let your battery get below a certain voltage, but yeah, it's giving me a good LVC warning. I can see it out here in the sunlight. So again, this is the Bojang S5C-2, a low cost uh, camera quadcopter, very inexpensive. Uh, again, 40 by $40 with shipping, which is surprising. I'm sure that's going to change if this becomes popular. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this flight. I'll be holding it up for a uh, thumbnail. It's Quadcopter 101. Signing out.